Perhaps the most profane word in the English language is hopeless. When you say that a situation or a person is hopeless, you're slamming the door in the face of God. Listen to this Bible promise. I take it literally. It's in Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. Stamp it on your heart. Feel it every time you might get discouraged. Here it is. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord will personally go ahead of you. I love that. I love the idea of God going ahead of me to prepare my day, my week, my life to bring good into my future. Now I continue. God will be with you. And God will neither fail you nor abandon you. What an incredible promise that is. And it is a promise that is kept. Even the most optimistic people can at times become discouraged as they go through the daily ups and the downs of life. Ours is a world where the demands and the expectations can almost seem impossibly high at times. When you feel that you're not measuring up in some way, or you're convinced that you're not being treated fairly, it's easy to become discouraged. But when you encounter difficult circumstances, don't lose hope. Remember God. When you face uncertainties about the future, don't become anxious. Remember God. And when you become discouraged, don't despair. Remember God. Trust God's promises to lift you, to lift your thoughts, and lift your prayers. And when you do, God will go before you, God will guide you, and you'll be conscious of it. You won't be blind to, to the good that's coming your way. And knowing that God will never fail you your whole life long, oh, that is the best medicine, my friend, that you could ever give to your soul.